my beautiful Aries gang, what's happening, what's crack a and what's poppin', baby? It's your boy Africa Moon's Tarot, and I'm coming at you guys with your June 2021 reading. I hope everything's well, and if so, let me know down in the comments down below. As always, readings here are general, so if they resonate, that's awesome. And if not, it's not your message, and if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok, all that info is going to be linked down in the description box down below. I wanted to say good morning to all of my Aries. I hope you guys are doing well and having a fantastic start to your day. And let's take a look here and see what we got going on for June. Messages for Team Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Throughout June 2021, what do we got coming in here for Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Throughout June 2021. All right, Aries. Y'all came through fast. Holy shit. Let's go ahead and get one more shuffle. And uh, we'll take a look and see what we got, baby. Hopefully, we got ourselves some pretty fantastic stiff. Aries, overall energy for you guys here is showing up as the hangman card. So, you can be connecting possibly here with the Pisces for some. Taking a look at your current energy, we have here the death card. All right, you might be dealing with a Scorpio person you're dealing with. We got here the Queen of Wands, or not the Queen of Wands, hello, the Queen of Cups. And then taking a look at the outcome that's present, what do we have? We have here the Moon card. Okay, three major arcana popping up in your reading here. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, a Scorpio, possibly even a Cancer. Right now we got all the water vibes in the Aries reading. So, the Hangman card to the Death card. It's almost like you're feeling stuck on a transformation. There's a transformation that's trying to come through. There's a massive change that's trying to come in in your life, but it feels like there's something here blocking that transformation for coming through. There's something here blocking that transformation from happening. Uh, some of you Aries may be seeing number synchronicities such as 555. If you see a number synchronicity, which is 555, that means that massive and major transformation is going to be taking place in your life. I do feel though like this transformation is delayed. Now that delay could be from you and that delay also also could be from external circumstances uh, so we'll try to take a deeper look into what this change is and what is delaying it now taking a look at who you're connecting with here we do have the Queen of Cups can be a water sign once again I kind of feel like there's somebody here who's loving you from a distance this is where things get interesting Someone here is loving you from a distance, and at the end of the day maybe feelings that you have for this specific person aren't quite yet gone so I feel like this reading is going to resonate more on a little bit of the more esoteric side. Maybe a uh, person who's not, you know, into the energy dynamics of spirituality or maybe more of like the more spiritual side might not resonate with this. But here's what I'm getting so far. I feel like someone here still loves you, Aries. And that love energy that they have for you very much so is still being directed towards you. It's being poured towards you. It's being sent to you. So when somebody is sending their love out to you, and you're trying to move on from that specific person, you're going to pick up on the energy that they send you. If somebody is thinking about you and is thinking loving thoughts, you can pick up on that energy. If somebody is thinking hateful or negative thoughts, you can pick up on that energy as well. You know, as we are all one collective consciousness and one consciousness united, we all can pick up on energies that we send one another. So Aries, this person's been very intrusive in your energy as of recently. They haven't been intrusive in a negative way. They've definitely been intrusive in loving you from a distance. But that love, I feel, could be the blockage that's preventing you from being able to end this connection and being able to move forward. It's like every time you try to end this connection, you just think about the good times. And every time you try to end this connection, you just feel an overwhelming sense of there's still something here. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact of this person loving you from a distance. So by them still having their love getting sent out to you, I feel like that's interfering with you being able to move on. And that's why you still believe there are feelings here. Okay. I mean, to be honest, Aries, maybe you wanted to move on because you weren't feeling this, but maybe with the overwhelming sense of love that's being directed your way, it could make it a little bit of a roadblock. Um, let's take a deeper look, okay? First things first, what's going on with the hangman? Excuse me. What's going on with the hangman here? Why is it popping up for Aries as their overall energy? And we have here the Knight of Swords. Yeah, they're communicating with you. They may not be communicating with you physically. Okay, Five of Swords reversed. They may not be communicating with you physically, but they are communicating with you energetically uh, with this person that you're dealing with. Okay, I had a couple cards fall out, so I'm going to read them. So we have there the Five of Wands reversed. We have Page of Cups reversed, but we also have here Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, whoever this is you're dealing with, guys, they're really hoping that your love grows again. They're really hoping that your love, you know, comes back into this person's life. 
I definitely feel Aries like you were the person who fell out of love, you were the person who you know, completely moved on, and then as you're trying to move forward with your life, you keep feeling like you're getting pulled back to this connection, and I really think it's because this person's thinking about you, you know? They're sending you their love, they're sending you, you know, positive thoughts, kind things. They're loving you from a distance and you continuously pick up on that energy, and it's kind of hard for you to move forward when you're feeling surrounded by this person's energy, kind of 24-7, to be completely honest. So what I feel here is like, they're hoping they can reignite a spark with you. They're hoping that they could get you to love them again and to proceed in some sort of reconciliation. Let's take a look at the Queen of Cups. What's up with this loving from a distance type of energy? We have here Ace of Cups. It's because they still love you. Mm-hmm. Clear as day with this card, you know? This person, 110%, they still love you. Let's clarify the death card. Why does Scorpio no longer feel attached to this connection or wants to move on from this connection? And we have here the Seven of Cups. You want to explore your other options. You want to see what else is out there. All right, we also have here the World card because you feel like, you know, the connection is done from here. The journey's done. Yeah. You know, we also had a Three of Swords here fly out, so we'll talk about that Three of Swords in just a second. But you know what, though? In relationships sometimes, you know, sometimes it's like, we could still care for somebody, but we could also still know if this relationship works for us or not, you know? And I think that's really what it came down with you, Aries, or what it came down to. Sorry, guys, Mercury is in retrograde, so I'm going to fuck up my language today or my speech. So if I'm like speaking wrong or stuttering, don't mind me, it's just Mercury retrograde, always happens to me. But Aries, basically what I'm trying to get out and say is, is that in relationships sometimes, we can still love the person and care for them immensely, but we could also acknowledge if this relationship is working out for us or if this relationship is basically not working out for us. And I think that that's kind of the point of view you came to. You were like, yeah, I still care about this person, but I also realized that this relationship just wasn't working out. Maybe there were things that the two of you clashed about. Maybe there were things that you were not compatible with. Maybe your careers took different paths or what the two of you wanted as a future was completely different. You know, you could have had a lot of different looks or outlooks that were making or break to this relationship and connection. So I feel like granted you care about this person, you're in a space where you know this relationship just doesn't work for me anymore. It, it is not something that I want to grow with or move forward with because I can't see my perfect alignment with what I want and what they want in our future. Okay? So as much as you care for them, I think you did want to explore your other options because you figured there is something else out there that would be a better fit for me, a relationship out there that would work better with my wants, my dreams, my desires, and the plan for my life. So you care for this person, but at the same time, you acknowledge this relationship just isn't going to work. Now, your person's heartbroken too. And just as you can pick up on the energy of them loving you from a distance, you can also pick up on this person's hurt hurting over you and missing you from a distance, you know? You can very much so pick up on that energy as well. So Aries, you kind of feel like you're stuck in this transformation of trying to find the perfect person because every time you try to move forward and meet new options, you can kind of feel the energy of your ex over here pulling you back, okay? You could feel them missing you, you could feel them loving you, and even if you weren't aware of it before, you're probably gonna be aware of it now. You know, some of you guys may be watching this reading right now saying, wow, I didn't recognize that that energy was this person's energy previously, but now it all makes sense. So this might be a big aha moment for some Aries that are watching saying, wow, I really have been feeling this person's energy for so long, and now it makes sense to me why I can't shake this connection or I can't seem to move on and meet somebody new without them always being in the background, you know? So what I'm gonna do here, Aries, is I'm going to go over the person you're dealing with. I'll take a look and see how they feel towards you and what's going on with them throughout June. Then I'll take a look and see how you feel towards them, what's going on with you throughout June. We'll see where energies align, and then we'll see the outcome, okay? Now, in regards to the person Aries is dealing with, how does this person feel towards Aries? And what is going on with this individual throughout June 2021? How does the person that Aries is dealing with feel towards Aries? And what is going on with this individual throughout June 2021? First card out, what do we got? We got here a Hierophant. Yeah, this person I do feel 
was most likely thinking of marriage at the time that they were with you. They probably felt that for the future. This person probably wanted to marry you, Aries. But if that's not the case, they were very devoted to you. They very much so were committed to you and they wanted to grow and expand. Uh, so this is a Taurus energy. You could be connecting with a Taurus. Taking a look at their energy forward, we got here the Four of Pentacles. We got here the Three of Wands. We got here the Justice. And then we have here the Four of Swords. So Aries, your person here has really been waiting for you and has really been loving you from a distance. I think that the four of pentacles to the hierophant is this person saying, I just can't seem to let go. I just can't seem to let go of Aries because they're the one I want. They're the person that I want to see in my future. And with the three of wands to the justice card, even though they know that waiting may not be the best approach, this person here is going to wait as long as they can because they feel like you complete them. Okay. So this is a person coming from a perspective where they feel like you are their second half. And as I always say, Two halves don't make a whole. Two people who are holding complete in themselves, they make a relationship. Uh, so from your person's perspective, they kind of feel like you're the person that completes them. So that's why they are very much so continuing to love you from a distance and having difficulties letting go, considering that they view you as their other half. And with the four of swords at play here, granted they know that you're at a distance from them, they're still really holding on to hope here that you are going to come back, that a reconciliation can take place, and that things can work out moving forward. Uh, based on what's going on with the person Aries is dealing with throughout June 2021, what's going on with Aries person? We have here the Queen of Wands, we have here the Sun card, we have here the Devil, and then we have here the Magician. So, with the Queen of Wands to the Sun card, you know, this person here is just trying to stay as happy and as positive as possible while expressing themselves and expressing the love that they have for you. So moving throughout June, you actually might get a message from them. They might come out of the woodworks here and text you and express that, you know, they were so happy with you. They have so many fond memories when they were with you. They really wish that, you know, we could reconnect and we can talk. OK, but with the devil card here to the magician card, I also think they're getting frustrated that what they're trying to manifest, a.k.a. a reconciliation with you, hasn't been coming to pass. So I feel like your person here is kind of in the midst of being really frustrated that things aren't working out, but they're still being incredibly hopeful that they will. Also in June, like I said, they may text you, they may try to remind you of the memories, or they might actually, if they have like a memory of you in Snapchat, you know how Snapchat has like memories back from like a couple years ago, like what happened on the specific day, they might Snapchat you a memory of the two of you, okay? So you might get that on your Snapchat areas, just saying. Uh, but either way though, in regards to who you're connecting with here, they may reach out, may not, but what I will say for sure is that they are getting frustrated that you haven't come back around or that you haven't reconciled with them because they could feel like that's not what you want but they're just staying very hopeful that things could change and that there could be a turnaround as for you Aries you know that you care for this person but you also know that the relationship just doesn't align with what you want in your life you really kind of are in a place where you're like someone better could align better with my life than this person We've been in this relationship before. I've recognized that we are different in certain ways. And granted, I love and care for you. This relationship is just something that doesn't work for me. So you still want to seek your options, Aries. You still want to go out into the world and meet somebody who could potentially be better for you, you know? So let's take a look at your feelings over here towards this person. How does Aries feel towards the person they're dealing with? And what is going on with Aries throughout June 2021? First card out, we got here six of wands. You know, I think you felt like you did everything the right way. You felt like you ended this connection the right way. You did it with respect. You did it with love, right? <clears throat> you feel like you didn't make any sort of mistakes when it came towards an ending. You know, no ending is easy, but you feel like you didn't do it in a way that was super hurtful. And with the nine of swords over here, I do think that looking back at this relationship and knowing the fact that the person you're dealing with still loves you is something that stresses you out. Because I think you acknowledge they still care. Even if you didn't realize you were feeling their energy previously, I think you always knew since the moment the two of you broke up that this person still has feelings for you. And I think it stresses you out because you want to see them be set free. You want to see them be happy. You want to see them be with the person who's right for them. All right. We also have here Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Absolutely. You wish that this person here could let go of you and find the opportunity to be with somebody who they're truly supposed to be with. Because Aries, you don't feel like this connection is meant to be. There are feelings there. The two of you care for each other, but you believe they're meant for somebody else. You believe you're meant for somebody else. So it's like, I really wish I could see them happy with the person who's right for them. 
All right, now we also have here Page of Pentacles and we have here Nine of Wands. When it comes towards your feelings too though, I think that it's hard for you to maintain any kind of relationship to this person, especially when it comes towards just even being friends with them, because you do realize that if I keep myself in this person's life, it's only gonna allow their feelings to grow stronger for me. It's not gonna allow their feelings to deplete. You know, this person here is not gonna be able to move on or let go of the two of you being together one day if they're constantly surrounded by your energy. So I think that you're not trying to be rude, but you are trying to limit having a personal relationship with this person, especially moving throughout June, because you want them to be able to set them free. You want them to be able to move on. You know that if you're gonna be around them all the time or be friends with them, that they're still gonna have the feelings that they have and those feelings are only gonna to continue to grow. So from your perspective, Aries, you want this person to be happy. You wish them well, you wish them the best. You want them to find the right person. Whereas in your life, you wanna find the right person for you. And you really acknowledge it's not a good time to be friends with you, especially when you're still heartbroken over me and it's not a good time for me to be around you when you still love me because those feelings will only grow. Those feelings will not be released. So Aries, it's not that you're trying to be hurtful. It's not that you're trying to ghost the person you're dealing with. It's not that you're trying to completely ice them out of your life. It's just you're recognizing in order for your clarity to move forward and their clarity to move forward, there shouldn't be contact here. You should have your space so that you can grow in the directions the two of you need to grow. So that's why this person here may feel like you abandoned them. This person here may feel like you've cut them out. But the truth is, is that you just want them to set themselves free. And like I said too, man, you know, for a while, Aries, if you've been wondering yourself why you've always kind of felt like you couldn't move past this connection or grow past this connection, is most likely the fact that you've been picking up on all the energy this person's been giving you. All of this love that they've been giving you from a distance, all of this I miss you type of energy that they've been giving you from a distance, you know? With that constantly being in flux in your energy of trying to move forward, it's like, a polarizing effect. It was like you take one step forward and then 10 steps backwards. You always felt like you came back to this individual. So just saying, you know, moving into June, it would be best to try to cut the cord here, you know? Now, what do I mean by cut the cord? Well, granted that people can send us whatever energy they decide to send us, we also have the right though energetically to put up a wall, a barrier per se, to where people's energy cannot go through that barrier. So Aries, how do we put up that barrier? Well, if I were you guys, I would set the intention that the person you're dealing with here no longer has access to your energy. Put that out there in the universe. All right, let's say this person's name was Brian, okay? We're gonna say, you know what universe? Brian no longer has the will to interfere with my energetic field. Brian no longer has the will to send me their energy or his energy, etc., etc. You know, I only allow energies through my field that I resonate with. And also set the intention too that you plan to move forward and not have any more residue of your past dragging you down. Set the intention to move forward with your own life, especially if this is about your love life. I set the intention now to move forward in my love life, to not let interferences of my past come in between what my future is and what I'm looking for right now. You know, set the intention to only go forward. And by the way, when you do will, when you will into existence that whoever you're dealing with here can no longer interfere with your own energy, it's gonna stop. You're gonna notice it. And the reason being is because your free will is the most powerful thing we have in this universe. Your free will is your will. So your will over your energy and your life will always be stronger than the will of anybody else. So by putting that out there and saying that Brian over here does not have the will anymore to interfere with my energy, period, it's gonna stop. You're no longer gonna be feeling this uh, person over here that you're dealing with, I'm gonna keep calling this person Brian, you're no longer gonna feel Brian over here interfering with you, okay? And you're gonna be able to release a lot of the baggage that came with, you know, picking up on Brian's energy, like Brian, you know, struggling and being hurt. You know, you're no longer gonna pick up on the energy of, you know, this person here still loving you and missing you and feeling heartbroken and feeling abandoned. Like you're gonna be able to release a lot of that baggage, okay? Now, in regards to where energies are aligning between Aries and the person they're dealing with, let's take a look at that. Where are energies aligning, please, between Aries and who they're dealing with. So what do we got? We got here the Hermit, we have here the Fool card, 
And then we have here the King of Wands. So with the Hermit card to the Fool card, 110%. You know, you are going to stay out of this situation. You are going to give them as much space as you can while you focus on your new journey and while you focus on your new beginning, because right now your new beginning is what you want to manifest. And no longer do you want your new beginning to be held back from the past. You want to find your lover. You want to find the person who's truly meant to be with you, the divine partnership, right? So you're going to make sure here, Aries, that you will into existence of the past and this person no longer interferes with this beautiful new future that you're going to be creating for yourself. Exactly. Five of Pentacles. Nothing else from my past is going to interfere. I'm focused on being present and getting all the new. All right. In regards to the outcome that's present between Aries and this person throughout June 2021, what is going to be the overall outcome, please? Between Aries and the person that they're dealing with. What do we got? And we have here the Nine of Pentacles. I love you, I care about you, I support you, but I need to be isolated from you. I need to be single. I need to explore my life. I need to find the person who I truly believe is right for me. I need to find the person who I truly believe is going to be my partner. The person who really aligns with me and aligns with my wants and needs and aligns with what I'm looking for in this beautiful, beautiful life that I'm building for myself. I need my Ten of Cups. Aries, I do believe that you care for the person you're dealing with. I do believe that there's even a possibility that there may still be romantic feelings there. But you know that that relationship for you just doesn't work. And you know that there's something else out there that will work better in your life. And as for the person you're dealing with, they may be waiting, they may be holding on for you and holding on to you. But eventually they're going to have to let go. And I think that you've told them numerous times to let go of you. And I think one day they will. The most important thing though right now is to no longer let this person's energy affect you and it's to no longer let this person's energy interfere with you moving forward. It's time for the cycle to be officially closed by announcing to the universe that this person no longer has any access to my energetic field. This person no longer has any access to my free will to find the right person to move forward in my life and to live my life accordingly. No longer will there be interference, especially throughout the month of June. And I think it's good, too, because with Mercury being retrograding, uh, retrograding in Gemini during this time, you know, Mercury retrograde can bring up a lot from your past. But by releasing this from your past, the baggage this person's given you, the, you know, love that this person's kept throwing at you, by releasing this person's energy, it's going to make you see things much more clear, especially during Mercury retrograde. And it's going to allow you to feel so much better moving forward by not carrying this baggage around. All right. All right, Aries. Really, really powerful reading. Really, really interesting reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If it resonates, let me know down in the comments down below. If I provided any sort of clarity, I'm really happy to do so. If I've helped in any sort of way, I'm really happy to do so. Um, thank you all for being here and for watching. And I hope you guys are excited for your beautiful new beginning. I hope you guys are happy to cut the cord here with this connection and truly move forward and embrace that forward movement. I think it's going to be really good for you. Okay. All right, Aries. Take care, guys. Enjoy the rest of your June and I will catch you all in your next video. Much love my Aries and have yourselves a good one. Peace.